I have some good weather for that, John. Well, some great weather coming up the next few days. I know that, Lisa. I mean, we're talking sunshine, high temperatures in the 80s, could even nice. see some record highs. Yeah, this is a October start to our new month. It's not going to last, though, so make every effort you can to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather because it will turn a lot cooler and unsettled, unfortunately as we go into next weekend. Speaking of weekend, I got some great astrophotography photos over the weekend. I want to share a couple of those with you. This one from Monique in Florida. Monique was a longtime NEPA resident before moving to Florida. And this was sent in by one of her friends, Cynthia from New Media. So thanks uh, to Monique and Cynthia for sending it along. It's a great crisp photo of our waning gibbous moon over the weekend. How about this one from Tommy of Jupiter and Four of the Gal or the four Galilean moons visible from his vantage point, I believe, in Carbon County. It's a great shot there, Tommy. And thanks to all of you who like to share your photos with us. We love to share them here on TV. Temperatures are still really warm. Got a lot of 60s, even a low 70 there for you, Archibald, and 72. 61, though, and Scott Run. So the elevation's, of course, cooler, like in Lopez at 60. But holding some really warm stuff in Lewisburg at 77 and a 72 for you in Lock Haven. And high pressure is large and in, in charge. We had that little brief burst of cloudiness at like 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Unfortunate, but it is since left and it's back to clear skies and likely to be clear as we go into the day tomorrow with the clear sky tonight. Great chance to see the International Space Station fly over. It's happening at 819. It'll last four minutes. Look for the solid dot doesn't blink solid move from th from the west northwest sky to the southern sky and it will be mm, almost halfway up off the horizon line. So if you have some trees in the way, it may be a little hard to see, but the clearer view of the horizon, the better. It's a mild night. We'll see that valley fog forming again after midnight. It was real thick this morning in spots. Plan on that again for tomorrow morning too. allow yourself a little extra time to get to where you need to be. We'll be in the mid 50s for an overnight low for tomorrow. Once the fog lifts eight, nine o'clock, man, what a day. Tons of sunshine, high temperatures coming up into the low to perhaps mid 80s, which is much warmer than average. Here's a look at what the temperatures might be like where you live tomorrow. Upper 70s as you go up into the elevations, but low to mid 80s throughout a lot of our valley locales. We'll be on the record watch for tomorrow, especially in Scranton as uh, we're forecasting the record, which was set in 1919. So close call there. Williamsport looks safe. You got up to 90 back in 1919 and uh, Mount Pocono going to come up short of the record. It looks like too. So specifically the Scranton area, I think it's going to be a real close call and we could be looking at some more close calls in the days to come as it's expected to be very warm again on Wednesday. Thursday looking warm too, but temperatures start to cool off as we approach and go into the weekend. Average highs this time of year are in the upper 60s. Don't you know October has been warming up since uh, 1970. The average high temperature for the month of October has increased about four degrees. How about that? But big chill down coming our way for early next week. We'll fall below average by a significant margin. Uh, average highs in that stretch from October 8th through 12th. So that's looking ahead to next week. Uh, generally in the mid 60s. Looks like we're going to be below that. Pretty strong cold front coming through at the end of the week. And with that strong cold front, not only comes cooler air, but also some chance for rain. Looks like Friday night into Saturday, especially, it could be some soaking rains in there, half an inch or more, a possibility. So we'll be watching that closely as we get closer to the weekend. Now with that cooler air coming in, could be some of the first frost of the season for the mountain communities. Valleys still look safe, but mountain communities uh, could be looking at some of the first frosts of the season, which would be around on target for this time of year, although maybe a little bit late for places like uh, Pleasant Mount and the Canton area too. Here's a look at the next seven days. So some sterling weather coming up for the next really two to three days. Warm sunshine, get out, enjoy. It's going to be marvelous, but some showers arriving late in the day Friday. Looks like that's going to spill over in a Saturday. Saturday may end up being the wetter day. We'll see what we can do for high school football on Friday night. But you can see those temperatures. We go from 80s to 50s for high. So a little shock to the system coming our way. Uh, looks like uh, for Columbus Day weekend, Sunday and Monday looking like the better days. But not exactly banner days. Looks cool and maybe a little wet at times too for both of those, Lisa. Jackets and umbrellas will be required as you go out and look for some of the beautiful fall foliage that's starting to pop. Oh, that'll be good to see. Yeah. All right, John, thank you.